Hey everybody, how's it going? So it is currently April 16th, and the reason I'm bringing that date up is because it's April 16th and I just got my codex in for the mechanical. Skitari, I guess, to be more proper. But, um, uh, yeah, it, it took way longer than I expected it to take to get it shipped to me. I think the, um, the shipping company had a service problem or something like that, where it, like a delay. But, whatever. Typically, when I pre-order something from GW, they'll ship it out the Friday before it drops on shelves, you know, the Friday before official release, and I'll get it the Tuesday after, so it's not that long after, but this took a little bit longer than that, which is a shame because I was hoping to have had the codex read by now so I can do a proper multi-part look into the Mechanicum and Codex Guitari. But that's the plan here. This is part one of an in-depth look-see at this, and this is going to be the unboxing of the Rust Stalker edition of the, of the codex. Now, this Mechanicum book, well, Skitari book, whatever, uh, the Rust Talker edition, I will say, is pricey. It was pricey. It definitely, I feel, was overpriced. But it's not a case where I regret purchasing it, and it's not a case where I feel ripped off. But I do feel the price could have been lowered, you know, a decent amount, and they still would have made out like banshees. So I do feel, yes, 100%, it is overpriced. I don't feel like they cut off my arm and leg, but I do definitely feel like it's overpriced. And like I said, ultimately I don't feel ripped off and I don't regret purchasing it. I like it. So hopefully I can show you why uh, I like it. But anyways, on the back of the box we have the Stamp of Mars, which I find a very nice touch. This is the front of the box. Now there's nothing out here that really states which number you got of the limited run. But there was a number on the on the cardboard kind of cover of this thing, the cardboard box that we came in, that said 466. So I'm assuming it's um, number 466. It doesn't really matter, but it is kind of cool to know which number you got. Um, now, yes, for those of you who are wondering, I am a fan of the Mechanicum. In short, if the Mechanicum were an option when I got into the hobby, I would have been playing Mechanicum all these years. But that's not why I'm ultimately happy with this purchase. Part of the reason why I'm happy with this purchase is, is, is because it's my first and currently my only purchase of a comprehensive collector's edition like this. I have the Tau collector's edition and the Dark Angels collector's edition. They were just fancy books. They didn't come like this came. So because I, I didn't own anything like this before, for me it's kind of cool. That's part of it. So anyways, um, take the box lid off, turn it over, and you have what I feel is like graph paper, which is a nice touch uh, for the Mechanicum, so that's pretty cool. This is, I believe, normally underneath the codex, but this is the poster holder, and it has a bit of an old school art piece on the front of it, and then some, I guess, Martian writing. I don't know what the official language is called for the Mechanicum, but that's what you got. Um, Inside is a double-sided poster, so for any poster nerds out there, this is actually a nice, thick poster paper quality poster. It's not like thin magazine quality poster. This is a, I guess you could say, a legit poster quality paper. <laughs> Anyways, on one side of it is the um, concept art for the Skitari miniatures, and on the other side, this side, is the uh, picture of Mars from space, which is pretty cool. I never really gave it much thought on what planets really look like in 40k, to be honest, but seeing a picture of it made me think about it, and I thought it was kind of cool. So, now we're staring at the codex itself, but we'll look at that last. You use the pull tab to take it out, and you do this. Now these kind of slide in and out of their holder a little bit. They're, most of them are secure. It's usually the top one only comes out, but these are like objective stuff. Like, you know, score D3 extra victory points if this is a thing, or whatever. So that's what these small pieces are. These big ones are um, two per. They're actually thick. These are the cards that I believe you can buy for their, what is this thing called? Um, Doctrina Imperative. I always forget the name of it. But the Doctrina Imperative is basically do you bolster temporarily your shooting or, or your assault characteristics for a game turn or whatever. So... They're pretty cool, and they're done in power ranking, which is also cool. And then you have your objective markers, your six objective markers. 
these things are fairly snug in their box, but um, they have the mechanical skull with the number to signify objective one, two, and up to six. So that's pretty cool. And the piece they're in doesn't come out of this box. At least I haven't found a way to take it out. I'm not going to try and force it out. It's like a foam type of material, so it's pretty cool. Keeps things held pretty s snug and secure. But uh, that's the box. And if you leave the poster at home, you just put the codex in this box, and this is the way you should transport your codex to a game, because you have everything you need. Um, oh, I don't know why I said three, even though I felt it move around. There's only two. <laughs> uh, I forgot this thing popped out, and I said one, two, three, but it's really just two holders for your objective type stuff. My bad. And the thing is, when I, when I felt it, I'm like, yeah, that's not um, a cutout, but I said it anyway. Anyways, um... The codex itself is not much to say. It's a different cover. The pages are lined in gold, or edged in gold. And uh, the back cover is just blank, which is fine. Very kind of uh, sophisticated look, you could say. And the side is also has that, I guess you call it Martian writing, which is also pretty cool. But other than that, it's a codex. It's the codex you can purchase off the shelves. Full colored goodness. So, um, not much to say about the Codex proper, but the whole Rustalker edition, because this is my first edition where I have the cards and objective markers that come with it and everything, I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't own one of these before. I'm sure it becomes old news fast once you own one of these, but um, ultimately, I do not regret my purchase. I do not feel ripped off at all, but I can objectively and um, you know say without a doubt that this was overpriced. Uh, and things like this typically are priced high. They typically are overpriced on purpose um, because they're, you know, limited run collector special stuff. But in that category of being overpriced like that, I feel this was priced a bit too high. I feel if they dropped some money off of it, um, it would have been much more attractive, obviously. But I feel like they could have dropped a good $30 and still have made out like a banshee on this, which is why I feel ultimately... It is overpriced, but I don't regret it. I don't feel ripped off. So at the end of the day, that's a win for me, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, this is going to be a multi-parter. What I got to do now is homework. I got to read this codex cover to cover. So uh, again, I'm not holding back this video series on purpose. This is April 16th, and that's when I got the codex. So I'm going to read it cover to cover now, and I'll be a bunch of parts to this is going to be a nice multi-parter um, where once I read the cover to cover I'm going to give you an overall impression of the codex plus some of my thoughts theories perhaps concerns and stuff like that and then from there we're going to get real in-depth looking at stuff so um, that's really it thanks for sticking through it and oh yeah by the way the uh, the main box it came in the shipping box it's weird on the side of it it says not children's products I mean I get it but I don't know why it has to say that. I just found that kind of weird and funny. Anyways, uh, that's it for this. So I'm going to go get to reading so I can start doing the, the rest of this multi-part in-depth look-see at the Mechanicum. So stay tuned for that and, of course, other stuff on this channel. Anyways, that's it. So thanks for sticking through it. And until next time, take it easy.